I would like to say a few words about marriage and the roles of men and women in it. Just as God has given us physically different roles in marriage, that is, men procreate, women carry babies, uh, so he has given us different roles in our marriage relationship. The classic passage on this is in Ephesians 5, verses 22 through 32. And the two key elements in a marriage are love and respect. If there's love and respect in a marriage, it will go well. So uh, husbands are to love their wives. It says this, Love your wives just as Christ loved the church and gave himself up for her to make her holy, cleansing her by the washing with water through the word and to present himself as a radiant church without stain or wrinkle or any other blameless, but holy and blameless. In this same way, husbands ought to love their wives as their own body. He who loves his wife loves himself. So, how did Christ love the church? He denied himself. He died on the cross. He rose from the dead. He bought sin, forgiveness for sin. He gave everything for the church. And so we as husbands are to love our wives in the same way, that we are to deny ourselves. We are to think, what is the best thing for my wife? What is the best thing for my family? How can I serve her? How can I help her to grow spiritually? How can I protect her? How can I provide for her? This is not normal. Men normally think about themselves. But to truly love your wife is to think the way that Christ did. Now, it goes on to say that women are to respect their husbands. Um, At the end it says, However, each one of you also must love his wife as he loves himself, and the wife must respect her husband. So we have, let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven verses talking to husbands about loving their wives, and one mention in one verse about wives respecting their husbands. But if a husband loves his wife as Christ loved the church, women would have no problem respecting their husbands. <clears throat> it says above that, the wives would submit to their husbands. If a husband loves his wife like that, there's no problem for a woman to voluntarily submit to him. <clears throat> So what should a wife respect her husband for? Well, first of all, that uh, God has given him to her. Second, that he has given him a position of leadership and protectiveness, and and that he is to provide for her. If he does these things, it's easy for her to respect him. However, if the husband doesn't do those things, the wife is still called to respect him rather than attack him, cut him down, be negative, be quarrelsome. Because if she does that, she just makes things worse. So the primary responsibility of us as husbands, not with the women, if we love them as Christ loved us, they will automatically respect us. So in a marriage, if there are problems, with this uh, hierarchy of responsibilities, any problem in a marriage is at least 51% the husband's fault because he is supposed to lead. He is supposed to be the example. He's supposed to, to love in a gracious, kind, self-denying way. So um, if there's something wrong, I need to say, okay, Lord, what am I doing that's contributing to this? Often it appears 100% the wife's fault, but she is usually reacting to something the husband has done or hasn't done. And if he does what is right and good, it can work it out. One of the ways he loves his wife is to listen to her, to draw her out, to find out what she's thinking. And women tend to act emotionally. We had an incident in my marriage early on where my wife wanted to buy all new furniture. Now, I'm not too keen on spending money. 
So I resisted that idea and I, I probed him, what is the problem? Why are you want to buy furniture? Well, it turned out she was unhappy about something and she thought that by buying furniture, she would feel better. But if I had just bought furniture, pretty soon she'd want a new television, a new car, a new house, because getting those things does not fill her uh, emptiness or unhappiness. So instead we probed, we found what the problem was, what was making her unhappy, and then uh, she didn't want new furniture anymore. We never bought new furniture because she found her happiness in the Lord. But I had to lead her there. I had to, to um, find out what the true cause was and help her with that. That's love. And she respects me because of that. So in marriage, lots of love and respect make for a great marriage. And each partner has a responsibility. So men, love your wives as Christ loved the church. And women, respect your husbands as we respect Christ.